you as the head coach, former head coach of St. Pete, made a historical NCAA run uh, this past March, being able to build them up. Uh, not only into a Cinderella story, but just a well-disciplined team that played hard, had a lot of heart. Uh, what was that? Talk to us about that process and how that happened. You know, it was at first it was tough, right? Anytime you go from a high major to a low major, right? Um, things that you're not used to, you know, as far as budget and how you travel and, you know, having a shrimp coach and things like that. So I had to work through all that stuff. But at the end of the day, to be honest with you, Matt, I wish we just got dudes that, that won the ball, right? Mm -hmm. Just dudes that was hungry had a chip on his shoulder that was under-recruited. Um, people didn't believe in him. I brought him in. You know, I like tough guys. I, I I played a certain way, so I want guys to fit my personality, right? So when I was going through the process of recruiting guys, I wanted guys like that, guys that, you know, just hungry and just got something to prove that want to, you know, <laughs> eat your food, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And that's kind of the guys I brought in. But how hard was it, and what did you tell your guys uh, when you decided to take the Seton, uh, Seton, Seton Hall head spot? Well, I'll be honest with you, man. It was it was easy, right? Um, and I say easy in this point. The guys made it easy for me, right? I went in the locker room, and we was in there for three hours, bro, just mm. chopping it up, kicking it. And their guys were like, "Coach, you gotta go. You know, that's home. You work your butt off for this opportunity. Like, that's something that's we would do if we had the opportunity." Right. So when they told me that, you know, it was it, it made it easy for me. That's beautiful. Uh, looking back on the journey, on the experience, what particularly stood out to you about this tournament run? You know what? Just right for these guys, you know, and obviously I'm sitting here talking to you guys. I'm, I'm blessed to be here, but it wasn't for those guys. I wouldn't be, be here today talking to you guys, right? So for me, for them, it was like everything, right? You know, you at a mid-major, you know, you work your, your butt off. You look at this type of stuff on TV growing up. And for them guys to be in that spotlight and perform the way they performed, Mm -hmm. Like, I just was sitting back, taking it in. Like, for real, for real. Like, I'm sitting there like, these guys get a chance to build their brand right now, right? I just love the attention for them. And to be honest, you're just playing against the best teams and knocking them off. <laughs> real mm, talk. I feel that. What was it like uh, when you signed your name as the head coach at the no, Mater? Right, right. So I'm going to be, you know, this is a real show, so you got to be, be real, right? When I looked at it, I had to make sure it was good because this is home. And we're home, you don't want to mess it up, right? Mm -hmm. You want to go in there and make sure it's the right situation with the right people. And I trust the people that was here at the time right now. Um, and I can't mess it up. It's too important for me. Yeah, it works. I think I speak for all of us. We're excited to see what kind of culture you build over there.